I will talk about normal probability distribution and standard normal probability distribution. In this video, we will look at definition and example. So let's look at this definition here. Normal probability distribution is a distribution with graph that is symmetric and bell shaped. It is determined by mean and standard deviation. Graph looks like this one for this distribution where mean is in middle and half of the data is on each side. The shape depends on the standard deviation. The higher the standard deviation means data is more spread out and the distribution will cover more value. Therefore, the graph looks more flatter like this. Whereas on the other hand, lower standard deviation means data is less spread out and the distribution cover less value. Therefore, the graph looks thinner like this, like this one here. Now, let me define a standard normal probability distribution. It is a distribution with graph that is symmetric and bell shaped with mean zero and standard deviation one. When mean is zero and standard deviation is one, we have Z scores. The variable of a standard normal distribution is called a Z score or a standard score. For any data value X, we can find its Z score using this formula here. Where mean, which is zero, is in middle right here and Z scores are on horizontal axis. Here, finding probability involves finding area under the curve. For that, we use Z table or some technology like TI calculator or Excel. Here, the area under the graph should be one. Since the graph is symmetry area on each side, so this side here and this side is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 which adds up to total of one. If five is here, then the probability of X less than or equal to five is given by the shaded area here, given by this area, the shaded area. Again, if five is here, let's say right here, then the probability is given by the shaded area here, by this area. If you can see here, in normal distribution, probability of x less than or equal to 5 or probability of x less than 5 are the same. In general, probabilities are same whether we have strict inequalities or not. Similarly, if we have to find probability between two values, then we have to find the area between those two values. For example, if you are looking at this graph here, here we are trying to find the probability between 3 and 15, between here to here. For that, what we will do is we will find the probability between 3 and 15, that is the area of the shaded region here, and that will be the probability between 3 and 15. Similarly, when we have to find probability of x greater than 15, then we look at the area of right to 15, like shown in a diagram here. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe our channel. We will be bringing more and more videos on variety of topics.